I am not, said the other. I'll wait half an hour at least. If Jimmy is alive on this earth, he'll be here by that time. Good night, officer. Good night, said the cop and walked away, trying doors as he went. There was now a cold rain falling and the wind was stronger. The few people walking along that street were hurrying, trying to keep warm. At the door of the shop stood the man who had come a thousand miles to meet a friend. Such a meeting could not be certain, but he waited. About twenty minutes he waited, and then a tall man in a long coat came hurrying across the street. He went directly to the waiting man. Is that you, Bob? he asked doubtfully. Is that you, Jimmy Wells? cried the man at the door. The new man took the other man's hand in his. It's Bob! It surely is! I was certain I would find you here if you were still alive. Twenty years is a long time. The old restaurant is gone, Bob. I wish it were here, so that we could have another dinner in it. Has the West been good to you? They gave me everything I asked for. You've changed, Jimmy. I never thought you were so tall. Oh, I grew a little after I was twenty. Are you doing well in New York, Jimmy? Well enough. I work for the city. Come on, Bob. We'll go to a place I know and have a good long talk about old times. The two men started along the street arm in arm. The man from the West was beginning to tell the story of his life. The other, with his coat up to his ears, listened with interest. At the corner stood a shop bright with electric lights. When they came near, each turned to look at the other's face. The man from the West stopped suddenly and pulled his arm away. You're not Jimmy Wells, he said. Twenty years is a long time, but not long enough to change the shape of a man's nose. It sometimes changes a good man into a bad one, said the tall man. You've been under arrest for ten minutes, Bob. Chicago cops thought you might be coming to New York. They told us to watch for you. Are you coming with me quietly? That's wise. But first, here's something I was asked to give you. You may read it here at the window. It's from a cop named Wells. The man from the West opened the little piece of paper. His hand began to shake a little as he read. Bob, I was at the place on time. I saw the face of the man wanted by Chicago cops. I didn't want to arrest you myself. So I went and got another cop and sent him to do the job. <laughs>